How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome again on this Thursday <laughs> night. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your girl, Karen Baxter, Ms. Creative CEO, and I am your mind, your empowerment coach, your mindset mentor, and your craft business bestie. Obviously, I am an instructor for Michael Stores, okay? And I am here. This is our third episode of the Creative Boss Collective, Miss Creative CEO present the Creative Boss Collective. Let me tell you just a little bit about what this is about, okay? I am a coach and a mentor to a community of crafters, okay? And I have been working with Michaels for a while and I thought it would be brilliant to be able to bring some of these artisans on the Michaels platform. I kind of want to be a bridge between creativity and corporate. And I want to showcase the everyday crafter that's working a nine to five around their kids and their families, but yet they find time to craft and do their passion and have a really, really good time doing it, right? So that's what we hear. I have 12 episodes. This is the third of 12. And tonight we have a special, special treat, special treat. But before we get started, let me run this clip just real quick for you. One second. Here we go. There you go. So welcome, we are officially started. You see, it's me and Jen Tail Watkins. I'm so excited and she has her husband with her. <laughs> John, my brother John. Yes, let's add this. There they are, there they are. But first of all, let's go ahead and see who's in the chat that was here last week. How many, how many, have y'all gotten all three? Put one, two or three, the ones that have been here before. Let's see what we're working. Y'all have gotten all three. Yes, yes, yes. All, oh, all. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. I love it. And then I got to do roll call. I got to do roll call. Where's CBCIC? Bring it up. Let me see them. <laughs> yeah, that's the community, my community, my tribe. And they are always supportive of Michaels and me and this whole mission that we're on. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'll tell you a little bit more about Tribe and what BOD and CBCIC. I'll tell you all about that later. But first, let's get into this goodness right here that we got in front of us. We have Gentile and John Watkins. Y'all give them some heart. Somebody asked me about the music. Well, that's the man that produced the music. That not only did he produce it, but that he's the one on the horn. That's him, Jay Sachs. That's what you want to call him, Jay Sachs. <laughs> yes, we are super excited about having you guys here. And what we're going to be doing today is they got a craft challenge. Now, look, John know about that horn. Now, he know about that horn. He know about, You can't tell him nothing about music. But let's see what he know about HTV and um, three, six, uh, 651 vinyl. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Let's let's talk about that. Let's see what he know about weeding and layering. And mm. let's see what he know about painting. And let's see. Let's see. Let's Isn't see. that girls versus guys crab challenge? Right. <laughs> but first, I'm gonna put her I'm gonna put both of them on the big spotlight because I want to make sure everybody sees um this beautiful couple i want to ask them a few questions so we get to really know about them let me turn this music off in the background so we don't miss anything um we want to know a little bit about them so Chantel, yeah how you feeling how you feeling I'm good i am excited i'm glad to be here I'm yeah glad to have this man next to me yeah you see the name of their company, her company is Romantic Expressions. There is a reason for that. Gentile, tell us how you are incorporating, how does your business incorporate with crafting? So one of the things that we do is uh, we create specialized gifts for couples. 
So that's really where my crafting comes into play, personalizing things that couples can have to have that romantic evening, whether it's at home or they're doing it on the go. We got it. You got it. So let me, how did you get into that? How long have you been crafting? So this is this is how we really gonna get into our story. How long you been crafting? Oh Lord, uh, since my late teens, early twenties. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's how long I've been crafting. Which is, believe it or not, probably about 20, 30 years now. I've been crafting. Mm -hmm. Um, I started out doing events. So mm -hmm. I would do like the centerpieces and um, coming up with the, the theme of it. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. And I used to work at Victoria's Secrets. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Vicky's. And mm -hmm. um, the guys used to come in and they would, oh, I'm shopping for her birthday or I'm shopping for our anniversary. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, you know, what are you doing? I'm, I'm buying this gift. Okay, well, how are you going to give it to her in this pink box? Okay, what else are you doing? nothing so I was like you know what as much as she's going to appreciate it because most women love Victoria's Secrets um you could do a little more like let's take it a step further so I would print off a blank receipt and give them idea of, of places to go or things to do or creative ways to give it to them and I was like wait a minute this is uh this might be a business girlfriends was coming back in where's she at let me find her who y'all looking for because if it's Jantel that ain't me <laughs> then I realized they were coming to say thank you because they really enjoyed the effort that the men put into it with a little help of my direction so that's how it started that's how it started so you know I got you know you know I'm gonna go there yeah I gotta tell the story I gotta I got to I got to so I met John well no I met them both at the same time but I got connected to Jantel through John because I was doing other events and, and stuff like that. And so we hired John and his band to play at one of my events. Fell in love with him and the band, everything. And then I met Jantel because she was with them. And so we just got to talking. We got to talking and I don't know, how, I don't even know how we got on the matter of cricket or things like that. But all I know is that she was committing cricket abuse. That's what I call it. Cricket abuse because she was keeping the cricket in the box, just cooped up in a box, caged, caged in a box. And I told her, you better take that thing out. I don't know what you're doing. I don't even really remember what I said, but I know she remembers. She remembers. Go ahead, Jantel. Go, on. Go ahead. <laughs> you was like, how dare you do that? Do you know all that money you got sitting in the box over there because you're scared to take it out? Whatever you got to do, bring it, take it out the box, bring it over to the house and let me show you how to use it. And I, I said, oh, okay. And then I looked at you I was like, why is she talking to me like that? Shit? <laughs> but the next day I took that cricket out that box. <laughs> and she's never looked back since. She has nope. never looked back since. And now she has a whole business doing romantic things. Isn't it beautiful to have a business built around love? And so tell me how, um, because ever since I met you two, I don't like want to hire anybody and I don't hire anybody else to do my music or anything like that for anything. Matter of fact, John graced us with his presence on my anniversary uh, party for my community um, in January. And that was a hit, him and his band. So as far as I'm concerned, that's a wrap, you know, but how, how did you got, how do you guys fuse your businesses together and how how did how did how did you guys evolve and, and make this beautiful thing um well we became one and actually before i met or we well me and Gentile grew up around each other all our life actually but before god actually brought us together my music was my number one thing other than my children um and god first and when Gentile walked in that room at our uncle's, both our uncle's place. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, Wait a minute. Think, Let's clear that up. Because when you say both of our uncle's place, we don't want, no, so, we don't want nobody thinking so nothing. He's not a blood, he wasn't a blood uncle for me. He's not a blood uncle for me. But he was an uncle to us and he helped raise us. 
Okay. And that, that okay. tells you how close knit we was other than the yeah. other family members that we have that's not actual blood, but was raised up under them like their blood to us. Mm -hmm. And we was all raised around each other since we was kids. Since we were kids. Yeah. And mm -hmm. didn't even realize it. Yeah. Right. Um, so I'm performing on stage and my real blood cousin, like, hey, cuz, why you not playing? Because I'm stuck looking at her and I can't perform. That day she became my music. Um mm. Mm. so I had to really I had to learn how to how to reevaluate the business, but she became my music and we became business partners, you know, then on. Um anything that I do, I include my wife, Miss mm -hmm. Chantel, um, mm -hmm. because she has my back one one million percent, you know what I'm saying? Um it's expensive. Um and I can't do nothing without her, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, not that I didn't function before she came along because yes i did function before she came along but i'm gonna be totally honest without my backbone i bumped my head a lot of times you mm -hmm. get what i'm saying i feel and, you and so on that's on the spiritual sense so when she finally came into my life when god when i stopped being up with him god finally revealed her to me and we got together um she was my she's my my other half so anything that i do anything that i have is hers as well Mm -hmm. um and we became business partners of course because it I, i'm including her in everything that i do like i said um and with her business um i have a little background it's not just in music but it's in management as well um and a lot of people don't know that because they just used to see me with a sax but um so we was able to link up and i i draw a lot of people don't know that i wanted to be a cartoonist for disney before i did music um and I had to figure out what I wanted to do. And I still draw every now and then. Um, so as far as painting and crafting on that on that part of the, the, the Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I could do that. <laughs> still I'm a leader. I, I could do that. But <laughs> when it comes down to this, this, this nice t-shirt that I have on and this nice t-shirt my wife have on, only thing I know how to do is press it. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. You're talking that big talk. Your little drawing skills ain't gonna matter over here now. <laughs> now, 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 my mom on the other hand, my mom would come in and she weed better than Gentile. <laughs> uh, no, I have, I have taught my mom how to weed and she do do better than I do. But we just really try to make sure, Karen, that we support one another. So That's if you got a kid, you'll see me setting up equipment. You'll see me breaking down equipment. You'll see me counting the money. And right. The rest of the band members. And when it's something that I have to do, he's right there too. He helped me set up. He helps me break down. It's just, you know, we're one. We do this together. And I got I a background in, in, the, in the, the cameras and stuff. We're just trying to get the equipment together. But mm -hmm. um, that's another thing I do is the cameras mm -hmm. and stuff. But go ahead. I still have a camera talk. Go ahead, sis. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, it's cool. No, he's good. He's good. So I love, I love what you guys are saying, because let me ask you this, the majority of the people on here are women. Okay. The majority, mm -hmm. how John, how do you, because we, as women, let's just keep it real. We get obsessive with our craft. We do. do. Let's just be honest about it. And sometimes in some relationships, it gets a little tense with the husband or the significant other, like when are you gonna make time for me or whatever? And sometimes they may feel like we as women are cutting them out of a part of our life somehow. And they feel some type of way. Do you have advice from a male perspective on how women should deal with their mates as they are transitioning on their crafting journey, like especially if they're turning it into a business to keep the peace and bring the husband along with them so there's not division? Well, it should never be division. That's the key word right there. You said mm -hmm. it right on the nose. It should never be a division between you and your significant other, whether it's the male or the female. It should mm -hmm. always be one because God made you one when mm -hmm. you brought it all together. So that's the issue right there. Make sure that you don't put a, division, a divider in between there because at the end of the day, when it's nobody else there, that person is there for you. Right. You see what I'm saying? So right. at the end of the day, you have to always make sure 
they're up to up to par and they they know what's going on because that's your real that that's your real partner right there and without without that without that it's it's hard to um function like i said i was able to function before Chantel came along but i was way better when she got here you get right. what i'm saying yeah um, and vice versa and so what you do is you don't ignore your partner it's a, okay with like like big red said Nine to five, my hours from nine to five. You did yeah. now in my business. I'm in the I'm in the actual music business. I'm not like doing small business. I'm doing big music business. Like I'm an international sax player, which you already know, sis. Mm-hmm. And and so sometimes that can be very time consuming. But I don't. I do my best not to cut my wife out with what's going on. She always know what's going know what's going on. She's always involved. I give her a decision to help me. When when it comes down to making the decisions on gigs and and certain concerts, like I got a concert coming up with Sunshine Avery, June third, you know, July third. Thank you, July third with Sunshine Avery. Um, and I didn't take that gig until I checked with her. Hey, baby, what we got going on? Is that a good day for you? Is it okay for me to take this gig or how you feel? And then she gave me. We looked at her calendar too. You know what I'm saying? And, and and we made sure she didn't have nothing going on. And then she said, okay, yeah, John, that's a good day. We clear. Um, and I said, okay. And it was a, and we went ahead, but that's how you do it. You don't, you don't um not include your sniff your other. And then too, I would tell you something funny. When it came down to t-shirts, I always wanted to make my own t-shirts. So I got excited when she started making t-shirts. And I start, I was right there, sis. I was, I mean, I was right up under. And she would try to cut, I'm cutting with it. And she's like, John. John, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta move over. You know what I'm saying? But she had to move me out the room because I wanted to I wanted to make t-shirts with her like all day long. Cause I actually started getting, you know, catching on to that pretty well. Um, but that was her thing. So I had to realize I had to step back. So and that's what you have to do sometimes as a significant other. You step back, but you're not out the pitch, if that right. makes sense too. It total total sense. Right. Total. You give them, you give them their space to do them. Right. And then let them come to you when it's time to make them business decisions. And y'all make those business decisions together. Don't make them by yourself. You make them together because what I do affects her. And what she does affects me. Boom. You know, so she make a business decision and then I make a business decision and we didn't come together. Now we bump our heads and that's what you don't want. That's the vision. That's the you vision. Know, that's confusion. And you know who the author of confusion is and we don't like that person. Or that Hello. Period. Hello. Right. Hello, we're not even gonna go there with him. Mm-mm. Exactly. But so basically, so. what you're basically saying is that ladies, include your partner, let them know what's going on. Don't let your crafting become a division between you and your mate. And y'all communicate. Communication is key. Y'all heard that in the chat. Y'all take y'all heard it from John. Now you got a male perspective on it. And I I I I approve that message. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I approve that message. All right. So here we go. Let's get to it. Gentile, it's your it's your show, baby. It's my show. It's your show. Run it, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> we did a mocktail tonight, but this is a date night craft challenge. So, you know, we both got cute. I got, I got on my, you know, my heart earrings and I put on some real pants. I don't have on pajama bottoms, you know, <laughs> we, we treat it like a real, a real date night. Um, all this is is pineapple juice, ginger ale, and um, a mocktail yeah. strawberry daiquiri, right? Awesome. One of the things that uh, we did and I just wanted to show you guys just some extra stuff that you can do. And then we're going to get into the weedness and see if John know how to put this stuff on these charges. <laughs> um, but we did these, I did ice cubes earlier and they're starting to melt the time here. But in the ice cubes, we got um, strawberries, pineapples. These over here have flowers in them. These are red carnations. And it just add a little extra oak to your, to your date night. Which I just want to spill up. Look at that. That looks great. Right. (laughs) (laughs) 
it just added a little something extra, extra to your to your night. Um, and it wasn't hard to do. It didn't take long. Got up this morning, chopped everything up, threw it in there, put it in the freezer. When it was time to come on camera, I grabbed it out real quick. It's in our drinks. We're ready to go. Yep. That's what tonight is all about. Tonight is all about just taking that extra effort to make your date nights at home. Just, you know, up a little bit. Make it a little extra special. So, we all, we both have the same materials. We both got a charger, a dinner plate, salad plate bowl. We got uh, the type of base that he wanted to use, what I wanted to use. We got, uh, this was my wine glass. We found one for him that I think is a little more masculine. So that's what he's using. Um, we got our table runner because we're going to paint. These are our napkins. We got the fabric paint here. I got these little dishes from, you know, I'm, so let me, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not just being extra because we are Michaels. Like, I'm extra like this all the time. In real when life. We, we are life. extra in real life. Yeah, this is what it is. Yeah, it's not for the camera, y'all. Right. But I found these cute little dishes. I actually got these at Michael's. That's what our fabric paint is in. And it's it's plastic. And then we got our wheat tool. Yeah. Yep, we got some of them from Michael's. Yep. So, and our paintbrushes. John got the paintbrushes on his side. Also, something a little extra. These are my resting coasters. Dan, y'all know if you on here, but I hope proud. I, I tried to do the proud there. She <laughs> taught the resting class on the first week. Yeah, Danny was our first year. person. Danny yeah, she says she is. Person. Danny says she is. And by the way, everybody loves y'all. Y'all are too cute. Y'all are so <laughs> sweet. It's like all sugar and sap in the chat. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> you know, one of our, um, if you guys are working along with us, we're going to start weeding. So this is the, uh, this is our date night. How many people here are working along and actually doing the thing? Are we just watching? Let me know in the chat. You want to take that mic? Well, let's talk. All right. I'll try it with you. Everybody watching? That's cool. You guys can always come back. That is good. I found I that did. Fun. Okay, excellent. Berku in the house. I love it. Hubby is working. <laughs> it's okay. Watch and then you can see this probably by Saturday. You can come back and do it with your husband later if you like. Um. So I am, I'm real big on date nights. If you guys, any of you all are already familiar with me, if you watch our lives, or if you follow me on um, IG or Facebook, you'll always see me talking about date nights and the importance of it. And one of the things that is really important to me is we have our own personal play setting. So this will be our second one, because we're doing this one tonight for the show. Um, but we already have our own personal play setting, and it's just for us. Nobody else in the house uses it. It's just mine and his. And so when we do our date nights, whether I'm cooking at home or he's cooking at home and we're actually calling it a date night where we actually like got up, put on some clothes, did a little makeup, you know, got cute for each other. We pull these dishes out and I chose to um, do them in our wedding colors. And I chose our wedding colors because it always, in my opinion, it always brings us back to that happy place. Love that. Uh, why we decided to do this in the first place. Y'all, they are goals. Y'all hear me? Goals. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Lauren Hubbard says that she joined one of your couples nights last year online. And they we were trying to figure out how I found y'all and couldn't find you. She's happy that she found you again and that she loves you guys. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you. That made my <laughs> night. That's okay, Ziva. We'll be your dates tonight. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's we are your dates, Ziva. That's it. And some people, uh, Adrian says she's going to plan date nights with her baby girl since she doesn't have a husband or a significant other. I think that's a great idea. Plan a date night with your 
child, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your mom. It, you know, yeah. Patricia says she's got date night with her cat, her um cat. <laughs> I think that is. Pat, I'm glad you were able to make it. Pat's uh, one of our classmates. <laughs> we finished school together today. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh my goodness, that's right. I forgot about that. And no, there's this is the best view. This is the best view we have right at the moment, y'all. Um, we have to have congratulations to Gentile because she has graduated. I'll let you say it. Go ahead. I have graduated from CTEDU as a relationship coach. Yeah. That just got, she just leveled up her business. Hey, it's official. Y'all see that? Day night. What, you, what you doing? What you doing? Um, what's up, bro? <laughs> Y'all, let me move everything so they can, they can get a good view right now. He's like, why you gotta? <laughs> oh, Patricia, you are so sweet. Oh, that's I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When we, the, when the idea was given to me about doing the play setting um, by my wonderful tribe, um, I was like, "Oh, we could make it a date night." And I, even though it says competition, date nights to me is all about connecting. This gives me and John an opportunity to do something together. Right. It's something that I, well, we both enjoy because, like he said, he does. John paints. John draws. John plays just about any instrument you can think of. Um, he, he does it all. So yep. this isn't complete. Well, weeding clearly is completely out of his norm, but, uh, <laughs> art isn't completely out of his norm, but it's really not a competition. Y'all it's all about us taking the time to connect, spending some time with each other. Um, I thought this was an awesome opportunity. I thank Michael and Karen so much for thinking of it and putting it together. Um, but it, it just gives us a chance to do something wonderful exactly everybody. and what are you um what are you weeding okay so you have the image date night the words I date night and what john is has, john has um he has bow ties because he wanted bow ties mm -hmm. and a beard with a uh i'm sorry a mustache with a goatee and he says he is okay we're we gonna try to salvage this as much as we uh, can okay all okay. right so that, that right there will tell you guys that we may not actually finish this on here tonight. Because um, <laughs> I'm going to have to get some from my husband. So, uh, Hatine says you're not supposed to help him. You're not supposed to help him. No, I, that's, I, I'm his helpmate. I got to help him. <laughs> what that's is the clear example of how I can function with I was able to function, but when she came in on, she made me so much better. This man, you know, he, he cleaned it up real good. He cleaned that thing up real good. <laughs> <laughs> what is that font? Somebody wants to know the font of date night. Oh, I will have to, um, I don't know what I'm saying. Karen, don't kill me. Uh-uh, I'm not, I just, hey, I'm good. Just, y'all can inbox Chantel. We will be okay. dropping her in, information. And you'll be able to inbox her on Instagram and she can find out and give it to you. I will definitely, I've had this font for so long. Um, yeah, I would have to look on my cricket and see. Uh -huh. So I have two images that say date night. Um, John wanted to be fancy. I made him a date night too, but he, he went for the hard stuff. Cause. <laughs> Like, I, I got it. I got it. Danina says she's going to do it with her husband. He's always watching me craft. They love it. Everybody is like, I'm so happy y'all are loving it. <laughs> wanted to do something different here on the platform. That's the thing about Michaels. They're, they uh, do, they allow me to come in and bring different things to you. So I'm so grateful for that. Yes, the SVGs are available still. You can go to her website, I believe, and download them from her website, romanticexpressions.net. Correct, Gentel? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Carlos. That, that, <laughs> I love Carlos. He, he chimed down Shalita's husband. He said, hey, brother, 
Slow and steady. Where is where did he go? Can he hear me? Slow and steady wins the race. Carlos, Shalita's <laughs> husband. <laughs> He's like, he said, you got to represent for the man. Represent for the man. <laughs> I feel like Tim, the, the two-man Taylor. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we, um, yes, Nisha, do that. Set it aside. This would be great. Because again, this is going to be on the Michaels platform probably by late Friday, early Saturday morning and you'll be able to go back and watch this and do it with your hubby and if if you're um having any trouble downloading from the site um again just inbox me i i will make sure you get it before the weekend you need a pair of socks i'm going down something baby did you did you take the contact paper off the table no okay it shouldn't be. It in here. Do it, Marjane. Yes, absolutely. He, he trying to sabotage me, y'all. He didn't move the contact paper. And he's like, no, I didn't. Uh-uh. Right. He looked like a guilty kid. No, <laughs> I ain't doing shaking his head on hard. No. <laughs> I promise I didn't move it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Like Andrea said, but do you know what contact paper is, though? Do you even know I what that is? <laughs> I had to buy. I had see. I go shopping with her, without her sometimes and come oh. home surprised her with stuff. See, look at him. Y'all better get him in his kudos. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I hear a lot of women um, complain that they have to hide stuff when they bring it home, and they got to sneak their crafts in the house. I married an enabler. Uh huh. Okay. And that is not a good thing. Because we'll be in Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm sorry, I think I was talking and, and forgot my weed. Um, we'll be in Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and he'll be like, Oh, babe, you need this. And I'm like, We don't, we don't even know what it is. But you may need it later. It looks like something you can craft with, but we don't, <laughs> we don't, we don't know what it is, John. And it ends up coming home with us. I have plenty of tools in there that I may have had for maybe a month, a month and a half before I even knew what to do with it because he thought it was something that I needed. <laughs> Trust me, it could be worse. Okay. It could it could be the other way around. You right. It could be. So we're gonna be thankful. We're gonna be thankful. Carlos sometimes our bank account be mad at him just like I do. Right. Carlos said that you cheated, Jantel. You gave him the harder one. <laughs> <laughs> So let me tell you, when we decided to do this, and he agreed, I said, baby, what do you want? Oh, I want, and I showed him the images I have. Oh, I want the bow tie, and give, give me the mustache and the beard, and, and I need, and I'm like, well, do you really need both? Yes, I need both. Okay. All right. All right. Let him so take the lead and do his thing. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> That's okay, because I'm going to get my mother over here. And she's way faster than Taylor. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Nope. <laughs> you can't have nobody else. I'm a, I'm a hey, it's going to be like WWF. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a tag her in. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> That's cheating, baby. You can't cheat. I think I did pretty good on this one. You did. You did. You did. Yay. <laughs> you did. <laughs> now I got to take out the little stuff. Huh? That's not gonna you. got to take okay. out the little stuff. See? My mom said, I could do it. I could do it. I got you. Yeah, I love my mom. Before my husband, my mother was my, my main supporter. Um, she was really my only supporter. She believed in everything that I wanted to do. And y'all, she's sitting behind the cameras watching us craft right now. She came hey, got off work early. Yeah. She got off work early to come home and watch us craft. So thank you, Clinton. Hey, mom. Hey. <laughs> That's yours. See, I cut it. Carlos, I cut his contact paper for it. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> I want to make sure we start painting too, Karen. So don't okay. don't get too far on time before we start. Okay. Painting. Okay. All right. Um, I will tell you guys a little trick. So when I first started doing the um. 
Nope, that didn't work either. Never mind. I can't even show y'all that. I'm going to suggest that you all let your chargers just be chargers. <laughs> just be chargers. Make everything it's, 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 it's okay. okay. It's okay. Let show them, show them all the good, the bad, and the ugly. Go ahead and show them what just happened. Okay. So I have tried this before with other ones, and I'm like, oh, it was too sticky. It tore it off. Right. Mm -hmm. it's like it's not gonna work. So I went and got the one from Dollar Tree. And I love it because it's not as sticky, it's not as tough as the um some of the other brands. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was gonna put my date night on my charger, just so y'all see. There is no contact paper in the world that works with these chargers. There's that. So you learned something, y'all. You just learned something. You see that? Wow. Y'all see that? So she Let just saved y'all a lesson. She just taught y'all something. So let your chargers be chargers. Get a pretty charger, get a color that you both like, something that, I don't know, matches what you already have in your lip, in your dining room or your wedding colors. Put your favorite colors together, um, no matter what they are. So when me and John decided to get married and we were picking out our colors, our colors originally were just teal, closer to like a Tiffany blue and a deep red. Those were our colors. And then I was like, you know what? I want my grandmother to be a part of this. I lost my grandmother before I met John. And so John was like, well, let's put her color in here too. And her favorite color is purple. Yeah. This don't look right. This man right here went around with me to have uh, Michael's. And um, we did shade after shade after shade. We took pictures of it. We came home. We looked it over. Like, what you think about this one? I don't know if this shade gonna work, but we finally found a shade of purple that went really well with, um, with red and teal. And so we added it to our red colors and we did just a touch, it was just a splash, but it worked. It gave me enough of what I wanted. So don't be, I said all that to say, don't be scared to put your favorite colors together if you decide not to do your wedding colors or if you're not married yet. Just something that's significant to the two of you. That's the whole purpose of it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if we want to um, do the painting and uh, our special treat. Yeah. We got to hurry up. Mm, yeah, well, don't rush. But I'm just letting you know. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put you know, this on. You know me. I'll be here. I'll I'll be here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in my element right now, so I'll be here with you. He said. He said. He. Uh, Elizabeth said. He. He said she can talk, and I'm gonna work. I'm gonna get this because he concentrating. They say you are concentrating, John. He Look, did, she's like, John. I got that. Yes, John. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we're gonna put this date night on these. Um, let's do the, the dinner plate, baby. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. Martine, it does. Do the dinner plate, and then we're gonna put some of this fabric paint on this runner. So I don't know how many people on here are addicted to uh, Pinterest, but I'm one of those people. And I'll be looking at pictures, and I'll be like, oh, I could do this. And I'll be like, John, Take me to Michael's. I need right. to get A, B, C, X, Y, Z. And he'd be like, babe, what you gonna do now? I was uh, like, don't worry about it, just take me. Take me. <laughs> right. So we go, I get the stuff, come home. I feel like I conquered the world. So you're gonna watch us do this for the first time together because I have not tried it yet. Okay. <laughs> but we are gonna take this fabric paint and this runner and we are gonna put some X's and O's on it. So we could use it for our date night. You got it? Just rub it down. I'll be paying attention when you do this right here. Here you go. Okay. Y'all hear that? He'd be paying attention on this part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'll see you today. 
I love the mini ones. Yeah. Anybody have any questions here? Anything we can Not answer? at the time. I think they just are loving on y'all. I think they're <laughs> loving on this whole vibe that y'all got questions. How y'all feeling out there in the chat? Let me know. Let me know y'all feeling the vibe. Yeah, we okay. Everybody loving you. We want to make sure every people are inspired. Yes. Yes. Awesome. 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 Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. We want to make sure you guys are happy out there in Michael's land. <laughs> they are using what kind of brand? What brand vinyl are you using? Uh this is is it Sisler? Am I saying that right? Caesar. Caesar. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Caesar and it's it's uh 651. And what I did was um we did mirror it and I like to use glass plates, like the clear glass plates. Mm -hmm. Um, because you can still see the words once you put it on the box. I put it on the bottom mm -hmm. so it does not interfere with our food. Very I good. don't have to put any type of resin on it or anything. It's the permanent vinyl, so it's going to stick. So let's break that down real quick. So what she's saying is she mirrors the image so that it's backwards. So when she puts it on the bottom, outside bottom of the plate, it appears face front. It appears correctly. And since it is not on the inside of the plate, it doesn't interfere with your food. Okay, hope you right. got it. Team, um, Patty says that the Facebook link is broken. Could you guys check that, please? In, go ahead, Gentile. Okay. So that's, this This is our plate. This is the front side, of course, that we eat off of. This is the back. This is where I'm gonna put it. So because I mirrored the image, right? Once I stick it on the plate. John gonna make sure that thing stick. He ain't playing no games it with y'all. Coming off with me, sis. Huh? It ain't coming off. You might it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> While y'all are working on that, let me just take a quick break <clears throat> and say thank you to some people out there that have really, really supported us. Um, okay, and I want to tell there's communities on Facebook that really support me and what I'm doing and all these other beautiful women. So I wanna give a shout out and say thank you to these communities because I really appreciate how we're all coming together. Everybody has their own lane and their own thing, but they understand the greater good and they support each other. So I like to start out by thanking Inspired Paper Community. These are communities on Instagram, on Facebook, okay? These are um, on Facebook. So if you're interested in joining some of these craft communities, please feel free to go check them out. It's Inspired Paper Community. Black Girls Who Craft With Cricket is one. Um, black Women, A Black Woman Made That, the official craft group. I wanna say thank you to them. The Mommy Grind, that's another person, company I wanna thank. Black Girls Craft, LLC. The Creative Brown Girl Community, the Lotus Group, CPNS Boutique VIPs, the T Talk, Majuka Clip Arts, and Mushka. I always say it wrong. Mushka, Mushka Clip Arts, and Let's Craft and Sell. Let's Craft and Sell. Look at that. That looks beautiful. I want to just say thank you very much, ladies and community for supporting what we've got going on every week by promoting Michael's and my show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that I'm looks good, show that up again, show that again. Other way, other way. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. You got a little white mark on there or something. Yeah. You got it, I'm okay. It looks good. And also y'all better be listening because I have, while she's working on that, let me uh, remove spotlight. Let me. Okay. 
I have some gift cards, y'all. Two gift cards tonight. Two gift cards tonight that I'll be sending out. So pay attention. My team is listening and they will come in the chat or they will come and they will give you some questions. And then whoever answers first is gonna win. This is a $20 gift card that I will send out to you guys and you guys can go and buy some stuff at Michael's as if you need a reason to do that, okay? I have two, two for tonight. So make sure you pay attention, okay? All right. Y'all see who's doing this right? My plate done. <laughs> Look at him smiling. Why? <laughs> Why he smiling like that? Cause he know. He know. He know. Yeah. Kiyoshi Green. <laughs> right, Lauren. We all love good gift cards. Another excuse to go shopping, right? Now he's trying to throw my plate out the way. All right, right. Get get mine done. <laughs> oh look, Berkeley Gomez, you got you got your significant other with you. Yes. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Okay. <laughs> and you're working together. She's y'all are actually doing the craft together. Awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have to highlight y'all when you finish. Awesome. You got a crinkle. Okay. Now, y'all, so I was working on his play, right? I said, babe, can you move the stuff so we can start painting when this is over? You see, he cleared his side. Right. He left mine. <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> and you say, I'm not being fair, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> typical, just typical. Right. Get <laughs> <laughs> out the dry. It's okay. I'm trying not to crack the plate. So Please don't plate. break the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. I guess we'll just do it right here in the middle and we can finish it later. Just if me any, and you. If any of the leaders and owners of the groups that I mentioned earlier are here, um, I know many of them are, please go ahead and drop links to your communities if you would like in the chat. So people have a opportunity to see your greatness just like I do. This has been fun, guys. I hope you're right. enjoying it. I'm enjoying you all. Yep, they are. They like it's beautiful to see you guys crafting together. <laughs> and you know, Karen, it's, it's definitely interesting being on this side of the camera. Yeah, I know. You usually behind. Jantel is also one of my inner inner circle, my BOD. BOD means board of directors. I'm Miss Creative CEO and a CEO needs to have a board of directors to keep them in line. And I am definitely a handful. So I have nine other women that are on my team that help me do everything and run this community and run these. When you talk about the moderators, she's one of those moderators that are always behind the scenes supporting and helping. And it's her turn to be in the spotlight. It's her turn to be in the spotlight. And isn't she beautiful doing it? <laughs> Thank you. Come on, so we can, so we can move on. <laughs> this is real life, y'all. You gotta move on. Cause you got a, a treat that you gotta give him. You been, okay. Patricia, you listen. All nine of them. It's 10 of us. So all nine of them. She said, how many moderators does it take to keep you in line? All of them. All of them. That's it. All nine. And your mama. Don't leave your mama And out. my mama. And she's here too. Okay. So. <laughs> Yay. 
Oh, John, yeah. <laughs> I'm I crashed with my first plate. Yes, John, it looks good. Thank you. <laughs> he don't stand up with it. Later. Don't play. Huh? I'm, I'm going to post a picture later if he actually do the, uh, the rest of the dishes we got. Right. <laughs> Uh, He's like, what? Yeah, More yeah. dishes? Like, <laughs> what? You just left up. We don't have time to do all of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? I, can you guys see the runner? Let me. I think I'm gonna change the view uh, to the other camera. Let's go oh. to the other camera. There we go. We see it now. Yeah. Oh no, we got a notification on our side. When you changed it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So again, it's my first time trying this. I'm trying it with y'all and my husband. So we're gonna see how this goes. But this is just a, um, it was a pre-cut piece of white fabric that we purchased and um, black fabric paint, paint brushes. You know, these blue ones came from Michaels. And so all we're gonna do is X's and O's. You can get creative as you want to, baby. This is our table print. X is it O's. That's it. That's all. Nothing else, sir. He's Can like, let, hear us let, let, let me, let me. <laughs> can y'all still hear us? Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> okay. X is it O's. That's it. You know what the X is and O's are? <laughs> no. And what else? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. That's all we're going to put on here. Okay. X's and O's. Okay. Okay. He's like, I want to do something else, though. <laughs> you know what? If Miss Creative CEO and Michaels have us back for another date night challenge, I will let you pick the challenge. <laughs> but it has to be a craft, though. Um, when y'all want to see her play my saxophone? No. <laughs> Y'all don't. Yeah, she said no. We no. <laughs> don't 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 torture them like that. Thank you, Patricia. You have an amazing night. Thank you for being here. <laughs> well, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna use this too. That's a wide X. Can y'all see it? Yep. So I will awesome. say. Being up close to it, it's a, this is a nice fabric paint. Mm -hmm. This is my first time using um, fabric paint. But He's like, he said, he said, if you gonna hem me in, I'm gonna make an X and O that is uh, over the top. He's like, I'm, you're not gonna box <laughs> me in. With no plain X. I'm going I'm to get what I want. Do, listen. Such a dude. He is such a dude. <laughs> they wanted to see what kind of fabric paint you're using. What's the name of it? Yeah, they, that's not going to tell me. Uh, Tulip Slick. Tulip Slick. You can definitely get that at Michael's. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little. So I told you I find stuff on Pinterest, and then I'd be like, "Take me to the craft store." And so I got to the craft store, and I was asking the the young lady about the fabric, and I was like, "She was like, well, what are you gonna do?" I said, "Oh, I'm a paint." And I was going to the acrylic paint. She said, "No, no, 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 no. You gotta get fabric paint." I said, "Oh, acrylic paint don't work on." Fabric. <laughs> so we always learning. That, that was my point. We always learning. Because I showed was going for the acrylic. I guess I could have called and asked you, Karen, huh? I mean, you know, I'm always a resource. <laughs> John is not having it. He's just not, I'm not, you're not going to hit me in. You're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm not getting ready to hit me in. Talking about some one thing. Right, they say he real fancy. 
<laughs> Look at y'all <laughs> getting real fancy. Real fancy. <laughs> <clears throat> this is definitely new for me. I normally do my painting on on glasses and, and coasters, not fabric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> Would I be wrong if I did that, y'all? Just one big X that way? <laughs> Why you feel that way? Because you had to get fancy. And that gets fancy. Your own. You, you put it oh, see. I said by your own. I didn't put it on your own. We're doing this together. <laughs> <laughs> they said Hawana said, don't do it. Don't do it. Let me see. Did I pronounce it now? Hawanya. I think I said it right. I hope I did. Don't she said, don't do it. <laughs> Just make him sit over there every time you use it. He got to sit on his side every time. Right. Martha said these are going to be great gift ideas for friends, weddings, anniversary. Yes, Martha, absolutely. Yes, me. He stopped. He stopped. Okay. <laughs> Trista, he thank stopped. you. He <laughs> thought I was getting ready to test them little stinking X's and O's. <laughs> Not stinking. Oh, my goodness. Too funny. Too funny. <laughs> this is real life. This is real life. <laughs> This is how it is. <laughs> and y'all know what? This is how it is when the cameras is off for me and him. Right. And that's what makes it fun. That's what keeps it fresh and fun in a relationship. Love it. When um when the quarantine first started, I did a he had got a, a big a big gig. And so when he came home, I set up, I had rearranged the whole living room, turned it into our own little uh, I guess the uh, club and I had the big speaker with the music playing and we had room to dance and we did a um we painted on a canvas we did a, a sip and paint and I don't know where they are now but he was trying to take over my canvas of course let, let me let me draw it for you it no it's not supposed to look like it's my canvas how do you know what my canvas supposed to look like <laughs> Good night, Tanya. I wish you could stay because we got a, a treat for you in a little bit. But I'm glad you came. Yeah, they they always do that. Try to take over. Right. See, I can make a fancy X too. I don't know about that O though. There you go. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> so my suggestion would be, um, of course, do the whole runner. We're not going to do the whole runner tonight. But do some type of napkins to match it. I have the napkins. We're not going to get there tonight because John has a treat for you guys. So I want to make sure that you get that before we go. And all of you all that have a... Um, someone that's doing this with you, I hope you take that opportunity to uh, to get close when he give out that treat. Y'all will understand when he do it. But put your X's and O's on your napkins and when you're doing your, your place setting, you know, stick it in there, make it fancy. So they come to the table or if you're, in, if you're a crafter and you're into rest and art, get some of the, the um, napkin ring molds and do your own molds and do them in the special colors. You can never go wrong with candles. Set it up and just, just have a good night. That's it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and get the late, get the team out here. We got some giveaways. We want to get that done before we get into our special treat. Mm -hmm. um, Janine, Janae, Okay, so um, in the beginning, Karen was talking to Gentile about how they met. And Karen mentioned that Gentile committed some type of violation. Does anyone remember what that was? 
cricket. Mm, nobody said it yet. I don't see it. Shalita, are you looking? What kind of uh, cricket? Cricket what? <laughs> Somebody gonna say it. There it is. Angie said it. I think Angie said it first. Cricket abuse. No. Uh, okay. An Angie. Okay, Angie, if you could send one of us your street address and your full name um, in a DM. In the chat. Myself <laughs> or Shalita Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the like never get cricket abuse. The, <laughs> for the second prize, the question is this. You guys are too cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The question is this. Uh, for your chargers, what was the brand of um what was the brand of contact paper that uh, Jantel recommended? Somebody said it already. Looks like it was Charmaine. That's not the answer we're looking for. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, stay in okay, your lane okay. and let me stay in mine because we're going to get talked about if we don't. Okay. <laughs> Marjean, Marjean got it. None. She doesn't recommend any. They don't work. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. She got it. So, Marjean and Angie, you guys got cards coming your way. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations on that. <clears throat> so what I also like to do is Berkeley, did you, I'm gonna put you on spotlight. Oh, look at him. Give him to me and let me cuddle him. <laughs> He's beautiful. <laughs> He's so sweet. <laughs> He's beautiful. Were you able to make anything? Hold up what you were able to make. Yeah. Right. yeah. Very nice. Love it. And love your better half back there being with you and your other half, your other. He's adorable. Hey, man. Look, I get caught up talking to the baby. <laughs> Thank you, Dwerkley, for being here. I appreciate you. <laughs> Let's see who else we got in here. Um, Anybody else do anything that they want to share? Hold it up in the screen and I'll, I'll highlight you. I think everybody was just really enjoying the night and watching you guys play back and forth was the <laughs> highlight of their night. Okay. So here's the thing. This is what I want to say. Um, before uh, Jantel, John, it's on you guys. Uh, let me spotlight you. Tell us what you want to leave them with to, in their businesses, Jantel, if you're going to turn this into a business, what do you want to tell them to remember? Lesson, a lesson. Be you. Nobody can do you like you do you. It doesn't right. matter how saturated you think the market may be with whatever it is that you want to do. As long as you stick to who you are, you're going to blossom. You're going to shine because nobody can do you like you do you. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And tell us what you have in that box right there. So if anyone that joined this Michael's class tonight um, decides that they want to go on over to the website, you guys get a discount on all of, well, let me not say all like it's a lot of them on our three massage kits, okay? I know this is a family show, Michael, I'm sorry, but we're talking <laughs> about love, we're talking about date nights. All of my massage kits are 20% off for you, Michael's participants, till Sunday, 11.59 p.m. There you go. And it is top tier. Um, 
It's top tier. That's the, I know. I know that for a fact. It smells good. It feels good. It's not greasy. It's not heavy. It's awesome. And you'll once you go to the website, you'll get to see what type of massage oil it really is. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna leave that there. We're gonna leave that there. Go check that out. Go check that out. Um, while is he gonna come here or he's gonna come right here? Yep, I'm getting ready to move into this. Uh, I'm actually gonna move these chairs this way. I'm gonna sit on okay. the side and um, enjoy my hood. Yes, yeah, so we've got a special treat. You got y'all can't tell me that other folks ain't doing what Michaels is doing here, okay? They're not doing this. So that's why you want to support this community and this this company because they are really trying to bring you different things and show you how to incorporate crafting everyday life and amazing things into your crafting. Um, I'm Karen Baxter. I am thankful to be here. I really appreciate you guys. You can follow me at Ms. Creative ceo.com you can also make sure that you follow my community if you want to be a part of my community make sure that you go over to facebook and follow my community the creative boss collective that is where you want to go i will be opening up a um academy kind of sorter that's not actually the name but i will be opening that up really soon if you really want to know how to take your business to the next level so make sure you join my community so you can find out when that's going to come up Make sure that you come back here next week. Next week, let me put myself up here because we just we're um next next week it will be myself, my best friend, <laughs> Janine Cousin of Nature's Crush Handmade, and Dr. Tiffany Taft as well. And what we will be talking about is self-care and creativity, self-care and creativity. One thing that we miss out on and we forget about because we get so caught up in making is caring for ourselves. And how does caring for yourself affect your creativity? Does it help it? Not taking care of yourself, how does that affect your mindset? And how does that affect that? So. Um, it will be up. The links to that will be on my website, Miss Creative CEO. You'll be able to go to MCC and Michaels on my website and get the link there. Or you can always check back here on michaels.com and you can register. You do not want to miss that because Janine will show you also how to make a couple of self-care products just from things from the pantry just from things from the pantry. And when it goes live on the Michael site, you'll be able to download a recipe so that you'll be able to be ready and you'll be able to do it with her and you can go ahead and take care of yourself. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot of money or a lot of time just to pamper yourself a little bit, okay? So make sure every Thursday night, same time, same place, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Thursday night, we are here. So come and support us. We appreciate you. So. In, in the, the spirit of self-care and pampering, let us bring our special, special treat up. And let's just have a great time until we ride our time out with Mr. J. Sax Watkins, international recording artist and saxophonist. Go ahead, it's your, it's your world. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
the chat applause 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 thank you listen listen this man gets paid big bucks to play that horn and he did it here on michael's michael's help bring this man to the stage i love it y'all better show michael some love yes thank y'all so much y'all enjoyed that right you better go tell all your friends about michael's and what they're doing and how they are showing this community and the talent, y'all. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> no, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank your wife, your Jantel. This has thank been amazing. You. I think so many people are really, 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 really going to share this with their families and Y'all are probably gonna have some um, John and Chantel babies coming sometime soon <laughs> with, this, with this stuff. Okay, <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take that. You'll take it. You'll have a lot of nieces and nephews running around. Okay, right. how about that? Y'all catch Chantel every Friday night, seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time on her Instagram and on her Facebook channel. Her and her husband. You can get more of this every. Friday night at 7 p.m. on their channel, okay? Romantic Expressions on Instagram and Facebook. I think that's it, y'all. You gotta say, put some hearts in the chat. You gotta say, we did it a good album. I'm gonna always bring you the good stuff, okay? Y'all send some love out to Michaels. Let them know that when you get that, when you get that survey tomorrow, you really enjoyed it tonight. They wanna know how you liked it, okay? All right, y'all have a great night. I appreciate y'all. Bye. Y'all have a great thank night. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank Michael, you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Have a great night. <laughs> Bless you. Bye.